Uh, yes, hello, and we have a very special guest today. Hello, Mike. Hello. So I'm here with Mike Isaacson. So you're an artistic director and a, an executive producer of the Muniz. Can you tell me a little bit uh, about the Muniz yeah. and how important uh, a landmark it is in St. Louis? Well, uh, that's a great question. Uh, like the St. Louis Chess Club and the St. Louis Chess Hall of Fame, World Chess Hall of Fame, um, it is a singular international national institution right here in St. Louis. Uh, we are in our 105th season and it is the world's largest outdoor theater. There are 11,000 seats. Uh, we produce seven huge Broadway musicals a summer. We perform for thousands of people each night. And uh, each night we also have um, 1,500 free seats. So anybody from the community can come. It's a huge tr tradition here in life. In, in St. Louis, it's a huge part of life of going to musicals at the Muni in our beautiful Forest Park during the summer, which is three blocks from, you know, here we are at the, uh, the chess club. And it's just this incredible, beautiful tradition and people just love it. And we have this connection to the worldwide musical theater community, Broadway, London. People come from all over the world to perform on our stage. And we have like the top talent, Tony Award winners, Olivier Award winners, uh, incredible designs. And uh, it's a huge part of life in, in St. Louis and um, something we're really proud of. Well, you're an award-winning producer <laughs> and director. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I know a lot about you. Please reveal us the secrets about the new coming, the upcoming season and especially right. about the chess musical. Yeah. So... Uh, as you said, I'm the artistic director and executive producer, and sort of my real uh, job, besides being responsible for everything that's on the stage, when you see the show that night at the Muni, is to sort of really understand the audience and what excites them and their imagination. And chess has been a dream of mine since, this is my 12th season, since I walked in the door. Because it is this, like, it's like the greatest musical you've never heard. It is a wonderful, wonderful musical that was an international hit. And this is our first time at the Muni. Uh, it's a real premiere for us. First time we've done the show, which I am so excited about. The music, it, it first began as an album, an incredibly popular album around the world uh, in the late 80s. And it sold internationally. There was a song, One Night in Bangkok, that became a dance hit somewhere. There was a duet, I Know Him So Well, all these songs. The music's by the guys who did all the ABBA music. And the lyrics are by Tim Rice, who did Jesus Christ Superstar and Evita and all these great musicals. And so it's this incredibly rich, bold, rock and roll score in music and told in these incredibly vibrant styles. And um, people just love it. And a weird thing happened with it historically. Uh, they first did it in London and it was a huge hit. Ran for four years and just it was a massive hit. Then they brought it for Broadway for reasons I don't know why. They decided to change the script, change a lot, and it didn't work. It closed very quickly on Broadway, but it was sort of still this legendary show, and it went out on a national tour in a different form. But it continued to be popular worldwide, world of mouth. PBS did a big concert version with Josh Groban, Nadina Menzel. Uh, it's been done. It's been done in Russia. It's been done in the Far East, all over the place. So finally, because of the St. Louis Chess Club and the World Chess Hall of Fame, we have this amazing partnership and we can bring it to the Muni. And we're going to use the original London script. We're going to use what was a huge hit, which basically celebrates the glorious music of the show. And uh, it's really, really exciting. And on, everyone in St. Louis is so excited about it. And well, you anticipated my question, but what is your personal vision of the musical? Well, you know, there's nothing greater than when you go to the theater and you're surprised. You walk in and you think, I don't know what this is, and it takes you on a journey, and you love the music, and you find the characters, and you just, you know, you get an experience that transports. And you know, time is on our side, because as, if you're watching this, you know, chess has never been more popular in the United States. It's incredible, thanks to the great work of everyone here. Uh, so we're landing at right a moment, like even people who don't know chess are curious about it. And why is everybody talking about it? So this, the story within the show tells the story of an international chess tournament, Russians versus the U.S., 
and the, the two men playing. And of course, the second for uh, one is a woman who maybe falls in love with another. So you sort of get this sense of intrigue and personal stake. But you know, everything that's been explored in popular culture right now with the Queen's Gamut and all the things you know, people are really interested in like, why does someone play the game? Why is this game so popular through history? There's a song in the show, The Story of Chess, that gives you how chess came about. Um, so it's hitting it right the moment. People are really curious and excited. Well, I had a question for you. You know, I was born in the Soviet Union. Yes. And, well, I've lived through these chess stories, but on the other side. And I wanted to ask a personal question. For example, how did it touch you personally when Bobby Fischer played the match against Boris Fusky? Well, I was young then, or younger, let's say that. What I remember, what a great question. What I remember so specifically is this was going on and clearly it was important. And it was, it was a game being played. Like, you know, I knew sports and athletics the other day of game, but this I knew was different. Like the, the stakes of it and the idea of what it meant to the world, I'd never seen anything like that before. Like that was new to me at the time, like, oh, a game matters worldwide. I mean, you sort of have it with the Olympics, I guess, but that's its own, a different kind of energy. This was, I remember it was just in, in the papers, remember newspapers, it was in the papers every day, and it was on TV, and everything about it was so, and it, it was sort of the thing where you went, oh, I need to investigate this. And I'll admit, I, I did play chess, I was terrible. I played it a lot in high school, I was not successful at it. So uh, I'm aware of the game, but I don't play it because I'm not good. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much uh, for this wonderful interview. And I'm actually looking forward to the chess musical because I've seen it several times. I love the music. Isn't the music great? The music it's fantastic music. music. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, and please come, everyone. Everyone, everyone's watching. Come to St. Louis, come see chess. <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much, Mike. Actually, and very, very good luck with the, with the shows.